Hey my moonies, I hope all is well with you guys. I'm going to do a energy check reading, okay? And we're gonna see what comes out. I'm not gonna spend too much time. I don't want this video to be more than 10 minutes, honestly. I have a busy day, y'all. It is my son's birthday. He is the big four today. So we have a busy, busy day. Also guys, like and subscribe if this resonates with you. Even if it doesn't and you just wanna be a part of the fam bam over here, definitely hit the subscribe button. Take what resonates, leave what does not resonate with you. Also, my booking site is not open right now, so if there are any fake accounts, any fake pages on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube acting like me, sending you messages, it is not me, okay? That is going around with a lot of us readers right now. So just make sure that you actually DM me if you have my personal Instagram, which all my stuff will be in the bottom in the description box. I do have a spiritual store where you can get candles and other spiritual things that you may need or want. I will also leave my platforms below, okay? Um, my booking site is usually below as well, but when you click on it, it's not gonna say anything. Um, it shouldn't say anything, actually. And if it does, I'm, I'm just gonna make sure I put it in the chat so you guys can know I'm not taking bookings right now. But anyways, <laughs> let's get into the message because my watch just went off, okay? What is the energy here for the collective? Can I get an energy check here? Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, what is the energy here for the collective? We have trust coming out. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. We have indecision. We also have peace. So someone needs to trust their intuition when it comes to making a decision and know that whatever happens, it will be a success for you in the end. You will have what it is that you want, need, and are asking for in the ending, okay? Also with patience here, some of you guys may need to work on being more patient, trust in the divine. Continue to show the divine gratitude even when you feel like things are not moving as quickly or even coming in that you are manifesting. 222 two, two on the clock as I'm saying this. I accept that everything happens in divine order. I also feel like some of you guys could be having something that you may have to make a decision when it comes to a situation or a person. Some of you guys can also have an issue with trust or someone can have trust issues. I do see peace and success and balance coming towards someone after some type of indecisive energy, okay? I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. Yes, so let's see what this energy is. What is this trust energy for the collective for this energy check? Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael. What is this energy for this energy check? What is this trust energy for the collective? This trust energy. Thank you. We have three of pentacles. And we have the nine of pentacles. Some of you, this could even be a job opportunity or someone wanting to work with you. We do have success here on the bottom of the deck. Some of you guys, blah, 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 blah. Already can't talk, y'all. Some of you guys have been like imagining having some type of job or maybe you've been applying for something here. Maybe you even went to school or you're about to get out of school and start some type of career with imagination here and death card here. It's gonna be like an ending to any of your struggles and new beginnings coming in for you. I do see a lot of success coming in for someone when it comes to their finances. Nine of Pentacles to the Three of Pentacles. 12-12 energy. I do see you working with someone or some of y'all can even be like trying to decide if you want to work with someone, start a business with someone, build something with someone. I'm also seeing that someone can view you as the Nine of Pentacles, okay? They can want to work with you, whether this is doing with money, dealing with money, or just an actual love situation with it being under trust. Somebody could want to work with you, could want to fix something, rebuild something here. They do view you as the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, look, Two of Cups, bottom of the deck. Someone definitely views you as <laughs> wish fulfillment. Yes, Ace of Swords, double confirmation. They want to bring justice to some type of situation or clarity is what I'm hearing. 
Someone wants forward movement. Three of Wands. Yeah, and this is definitely after an ending. Death card again. So someone's definitely hoping for some type of success. And they are remaining very patient in this time. They can be very regretful because of some type of ending. Maybe them being indecisive. Okay, we do see indecisive here. Let me move this down. Can I get more here for this trust energy for the collective? Thank you. We have the Knight of Wands coming out on top of the Three of Pentacles. I do feel like someone can be very focused here. Like I said, if this has anything to do with your work, some of y'all, this can be both your love life and work. But if it does have something to do with your work, I see you being very excited about something or being able to do something or getting some type of phone call for a job opportunity. Okay. I also am getting that someone could have been very childish. Like I said, this is a love situation. This can be someone that maybe you close something out with Queen of Swords to the well. Okay, you could have closed something out, set some type of boundary with someone, and it could be due to lack of trust, okay? Some of you guys could be guided to move on from this person and focus on your finances. And I see you being focused. I do see someone being very focused, even if this is something that's going on now, or this is something that already happened to where something has already ended, and you are entering a new cycle, a new chapter in your life that's going to be very abundant, very successful, okay? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles is what I just seen. And the lovers, I'm telling you. So it's some, definitely something to do with a lover here and a new beginning, a transformation. Okay, can I get one more here for this trust energy? One more, please. Yeah, the whale with the two of wands. And the Eight of Pentacles in the bottom of the deck. Like I said, I do see something here with work for you guys. I also see that someone could have put someone in competition. Something could have been very toxic. If there is an ex here, if there was lack of trust in the situation, something could have been very toxic. Capricorn energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini. Like someone could have been putting in a lot of work in a situation that was very chaotic. A lot of arguing, a lot of fights. Something was just very toxic. There was no balance. And I'm hearing third party, third party. There definitely could have been a third party here. Yeah, look, tower to the eight of pentacles. Something went to shit. You put in a lot of effort and something went to shit. Eight of pentacles to the tower. The whale. Stuck energy. I do feel like someone could be stuck on this Nine of Pentacles person after being tossed to the curb or ghosting someone or just simply something coming to an end and someone choosing to move on because someone was indecisive, okay? And now this person could be stuck on this Nine of Pentacles person. We did see the lovers in the Two of Cups, so someone could definitely be stuck and maybe wanting to offer someone a Two of Cups. I'm also seeing that someone could even be talking to someone new now after ending something with a past person. What is this indecisive energy? For this energy check, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, what is this, indeci this indecisive energy, indecision? Thank you. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles to the Six of Swords. It's like someone could have been very indecisive in the past and all it did was cause someone to want a new beginning here, want to hit the calmer waters, want to move in a different direction. Yeah, the rise. Somebody can just be focusing on their work here, getting more creative. Yeah, and then emperor here. Somebody, you may even meet someone new, like I said. Someone may actually meet someone new. Aries energy to the chariot, to the horophant. Yeah, to the six of pentacles is going to bring them balance. I feel like there's going to be a past person realizing here that they do want someone. They do want a new start, a new beginning with someone. They want them to trust them now. They want to bring peace to a situation. But someone could be on this boat by themselves. That's literally what I'm getting. What's this Ace of Pentacles for indecision? Yeah, Seven of Swords. There was some type of betrayal. There was some type of betrayal here, some type of energy. I feel like somebody got trapped, stuck in a situation with someone. 
Yeah, King of Wands that was only about themselves. Yeah, look, lovers that only thought about themselves. Even though they viewed someone as wish fulfillment, it's like maybe they wanted to take a leap of faith. Maybe they wanted to do something. But instead, it's like even if they did take a leap of faith and you and this person started dealing with each other, dating, whatever it was, it's like somebody, when they got you, they started playing games. But I also feel like for some of you, you guys started, like this person started creating spiritual blockages for you. Knight of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, to so the Four of Cups. I feel like someone started creating spiritual blockages for you and even physical blockages for you. What is the energy here? Yeah, and I'm seeing the tower again with the five of pentacles and the five of cups. Five, five, five energy. Like someone is ready for change now. And I'm seeing the tower in the back. Somebody is ready for change now. And I also feel like I said there could be an ex that is in a lot of regret here because they didn't take a two of cups. Instead, they missed the opportunity. They missed the chance on having something new. Ace of pentacles, they fucked something up in this indecisive energy. Seven of Swords, lying, cheating, deceptive. Somebody can feel left out in the cold now. Yeah, in the moon. They may not even be showing this. Somebody can be keeping it to themselves. Scorpio energy, eight of cups, and the page of cups. Yeah, somebody can be keeping to themselves like, like they want to come back in. Eight of cups and the page of cups with an apology, four of wands. Yes, to heal something, the star. Somebody can be keeping that to themselves that they want to come back to an empress. Yeah, eight of wands to the um to the empress. Taurus Libra Cancer energy. I'm hearing secret communication. If someone was dealing with a third party or still is dealing with a third party, they may want to reach out to you, but this may be secretly. Yeah, look, the moon <laughs> to the two of pentacles. If they're still dealing with someone else. They may want to reach out to you. What is the energy? Thank you. Yeah, look, the moon coming out again on the Six of Swords. Somebody could even be keeping from a third party that they, they're heading in a different direction, that they may want to head in a different direction to calmer waters. They finally made their decision here after being stuck for so long or in their head for so long. Eight of Swords. Yeah, I'm telling you, Eight of Cups to the hard font. For some of y'all, they married this person, got engaged to this person, or had a family with this person. But they want to walk away from me. Eight of Cups to the hard font. What is this energy for peace? Uh, yeah, and I'm seeing the Three of Swords. Somebody is hurting. And it could be due to the fact that they hurt you. What's this peace energy? I am being, I am a being of love and I release all negative energies. And you are definitely in the energy of finding balance, peace. Not wanting to be around anything negative. Yeah, nine of wands in reverse. You don't want anything around you that's draining, that's toxic. Yeah, that's stressful. Four of swords. You want an emperor, somebody to match your energy. The chariot. I do see you moving forward. I do see you overcoming a situation that was very toxic, okay? Yeah, Six of Cups. Some of you guys can be healing your inner child, getting to know yourself more in this time, choosing to trust your intuition, focus on yourself, do the things that make you happy, that make your heart smile, your soul smile. I'm getting free-spirited energy. It's like you are being given flowers from the divine. You have passed some type of test here. Yeah, after dealing with some type of betrayal, you pass some type of test, and here comes Ten of Pentacles, the magician, everything that you have been manifesting. Yes, Queen of Wands, independence, success. I'm getting strong energy. You fought for what you believed in. You defended yourself. You stood your ground. Here comes offers, opportunities in love and in fine with your finances. Yes, back to back blessings, Three of Wands, back to back blessings, Six of Wands. Thank you. Yeah, five of wands here with the nine of wands in reverse because something was very chaotic. And somebody could have been putting you in competition. Somebody could have been very indecisive. And this may be someone that may want your trust now. They may want to fix something, okay? And for some of you, they can still be dealing with a third party that they're trying to get away from or they want to get away from, okay? What's this energy for the six of cups for this energy check? 
What is this? Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel. Yes. Ace of Wands under the under the Six of Cups. I'm telling you, y'all definitely are looking forward to a new beginning here. New experiences. Yes. It's going to bring you peace, balance. Look, the Hermit. You guys can be isolating yourself. Virgo energy. Taking some time to be by yourself. The food. Yeah. You guys are getting ready to take leaps of faith and do a lot of things that make you happy. Things that you never thought you were going to do with that imagination card. That you never really thought that you would even experience. Life is about to change for you. Three of Cups. I'm seeing you celebrating. Yes. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. Peace. Balance. Love. Just good energy, success, abundance all around you. Can I get one more card here? What up, baby? Happy birthday. Yeah, the lovers in reverse. Last card. You guys are realizing that someone wasn't who you thought they were, and you're at peace, and you're accepting a situation. Give me a second, you guys. What's wrong? Fix your pants, baby. What's the matter? Happy birthday. I love you. <clears throat> Go lay on the couch. Go lay on the couch till mommy done. Mommy almost done, okay? Sorry about that, y'all. My son is up now. <laughs> All right, let me pull one more deck. I'm going to go in with the truth deck. And we are going to see what needs to come out when it comes to this situation. And then we're going to close it out, okay? But you're definitely seeing that someone isn't who you thought they were. They're not an emperor, okay? This, for some of you, you can view this person as a karmic now. You may view them as someone that's like a karmic twin. Okay? Karmic soulmate. Take it how it resonates for you. You may feel like you've learned a lesson that you needed to learn from a situation. And it's like now you're choosing peace. You're choosing happiness. You're choosing balance. You're choosing you. Okay? And that's what I'm getting. What is this energy here for this situation? What else? Yeah, somebody had options. I'm telling you. There, somebody definitely had options, this masculine energy or feminine. Take it how it resonates for you. There's no gender in tarot. Zodiacs really don't matter. It's the energy, okay? Like I said, this person could have got married or had a family or y'all had a kid together or both of y'all have a kid. Take it how it resonates. Someone can be very family-oriented. Someone can have a daughter. Yeah, you, it's like a spiritual lesson you're learning in this time. It's a spiritual lesson you're learning. Yeah. I do see I do feel like somebody either gonna try to have you in this energy of contemplating on whether or not you're gonna take them back, or this is them currently. They're in this contemplation energy. For some of you, this could have even been someone you just were friends with benefits with. 18, 18 on the clock when I said that. This could have been someone that you were just friends with benefits. Yeah, just dating. Okay. Take it how it resonates. But I also feel like you guys could be dating, getting to know other people, weighing out your options now. Didn't I say, yeah, look, then we have new love here. I'm telling you, some of y'all may, like I said, have a new person or get a new person, meet a new person. Didn't I tell y'all I heard sneaky, sneaky c communication? Someone may sneak. This person, this past person may sneak if they're still dealing with someone to reach out to you. Some of y'all, this may happen when they, like, view you... Like they see you online with someone new. Yeah, look, it's going to change everything. Changes. It's going to change everything if they do see you with someone else. And for some of you, it doesn't even have to be that. They're just keeping tabs on you or an eye on you. And they just don't want to see you get away or end up with somebody else. That bothers them. Yeah, codependency. Somebody doesn't want you to be with anybody else. Look, confirmation, him with no boundaries. You didn't have no boundaries, and they want you to continue to have no boundaries with this person. But I see you guys definitely setting boundaries with them now. This person doesn't want you to, but I definitely see you doing that because they're still coming to you empty-handed, and you know that. Yeah, we're her here. Both of you guys' energy is here. You know that they're just going to hurt you. 
this person could be in their feelings. They could be hurting. They could even reach out and say they want to spend time with you. They can tell you they want you. Yeah, and they're very determined to come in in this energy. This is someone that tried to make you feel insecure, but you're not, and which is why you walked away. This is someone that's actually insecure. You walked away from deception, lying, cheating. You did. Things that were going on in the shadows, you walked away. But that is what I have for you guys. This is your energy check. Okay, y'all? If it resonates, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I would love to welcome all the new people in. Join the fam bam. Join all the moonies. <laughs> okay, I will leave all my information in the description box. Once again, I do not reach out to people. My booking site is closed, so do not get scammed out here. I will leave my TikTok and my actual Instagram below. Go follow that. I will also leave my other YouTube. I'm going to start vlogging. Okay, so I will leave my other YouTube down in the description box box as well i love you guys and for the next time i will see y'all next time bye